a delicious time. Welcome to this episode that I called All Things Puff Pastry. You will love this episode. This will be your go-to recipes if you want to make a crowd pleaser or make your kids happy and just don't want to have a big hassle uh, after work. So puff pastry dough is vegan's best friend and also most uh, mother's best friend because it is so versatile and you can make so many yummy, delicious, sweet and savory dishes with it within a minute. Today I want to show you a few variants of what to do with it. Uh, I want to make some um, maple pecan plates or marzipan plates. I first had those in Andalusia in the south of Spain and they sold them at Lidl and they were so extremely delicious. I can't even tell you. Now the dough is a bit more complicated um, but puff pastry comes pretty close to it um, and I will stuff it with probably with uh, marzipan mixed with some cream cheese and uh, some plant milk. Then uh, we'll show you some ways of how to make puff pastry rugelach within minutes and fill them with nuts and chocolate and also make some puff pastry dough filled with apples and lovely spices such as ginger, cinnamon, my all-time favorite, um, cardamom and a bit of cloves. And uh, there are really endless possibilities. I'm just showing you a few, so please do cre get creative and there are no limits. Let's get started. For the first filling, the maple pecan plates, I'm mixing this marzipan in my Thermomix with some plant milk. If you want a less sweet option, you can use cream cheese mixed with ground nuts and some maple syrup. But I don't want a tart flavor today, so I'm using the marzipan. And the plant milk, I'm doing this in a Thermomix because it doesn't only mix it well, but it also heats it, so it will be a lot easier that way. And then I'm adding some rum aroma. As you can see, it's very nice and creamy. It just won't be enough to fill all six slices of puff pastry, so I'm putting a bit of this vegan curd cheese that I told you earlier I bought by mistake and this will make it a bit more tart. Last time I added some ground apples instead of the cream cheese. I may do that now. So this is really a creative process, you know, nothing is written in stone. want to move quickly you don't want your dough to get too, too warm it will be too soft to handle I added my chopped apples to the cream cheese marzipan mix and now I'm going to slice this dough into six pieces first I will get some thirds here and then in the middle and then each piece will again be divided in thirds but only in your mind so we start out with number one here put your filling in the middle most likely some of it will seep out I shouldn't have put that much cream cheese in there. Oh well. Okay, so now you put your filling in the middle, and this is your middle third, and the outer thirds you will use to cut strips to cover this whole thing. Make sure you slice down at an angle, not at a 90 degree angle, but like this. And now you Try to close it up here and then fold your strips over like that so you get a nice little plate. When you're done, you put on your pecans that you have to break up a bit for garnish. 
Now, if you want to keep this vegan, uh, I don't see too many options of getting a nice glaze here. I used maple before, but it uh, didn't brown evenly and there were some ugly spots, so I've decided to just not brush them with anything. Just put on the pecans and then move on to your next plate. This is what it looks like. Quickly put it onto your cookie sheet and move on to the next. It's time for those lovely plates to go in the oven at 200 <clears throat> degrees. The next filling uh, will be for the puff pastry Rugelach. This is a filling for my nut allergic son. I'm simply shredding some apples and uh, putting the rest of this marzipan vegan cream cheese stuff in there because we're wasted. And then adding just a bit of maple and cinnamon as we spread it on the dough and just roll it and slice it. plates with the cream cheese marzipan filling. Look at them. I wish you could smell them. The smell is absolutely gorgeous wafting through the house. I know my camera does not depict the colors properly so they look way way better, way more browned. Uh, I suggest you bake them at 180 degrees upon second thought because the pecans start browning and I had to turn it down in the end so they won't get black. I've just taken round number two out of the oven. These are our Rugelach filled with apples and delicious spices. And it's time to deal with number three. For number three, I'm simply going to chop some walnuts. You can use almonds, pecans, any kind of nuts or even cashews. And then I'm going to add some dark chocolate. Now, you can even just grind everything and then... Uh, put it on your dough and then let it melt while it's cooking. That will be even quicker. I'm going to chop it and melt first. Thank God my machine does both at the same time. Round number three of all things puff pastry. Now we're getting to my favorite part, chocolate and walnuts or chocolate and pecans. You can dab a bit of cinnamon on there too. Coffee would be amazing but I don't have time to grind up some instant coffee powder right now. My pizza dough awaits. I'm on to other things. So now I have my mixture of the melted dark chocolate. Can't really see it now. The light's bad. And the uh, wa chopped walnuts. I'm going to spread this on evenly still warm so uh, time is of the essence now. We don't want to offend our holy puff pastry by getting it too warm. And there are different ways of doing this. You could do the same thing again as we did with the apple filling or you could then slice the roll into, what's that in English? I don't even know. <laughs> into rounds and lay them flat instead of upright. And just about enough. I have to steal some from over here. Not rugelach are going in the oven. I could have sliced this into 16 instead of, I think there are 12, but uh, that's up to you. Also, of course, you can flatten them out and shrimp them to rounds. And I'm trying to keep this as healthy as possible while being uh, as delicious as possible. If you want this more sweet, of course, you can add maple or any kind of sweetener, or we can even drizzle this on when they're finished. That will give them some kind of a baklava-like texture. 
All right, you guys, now this was number three, the chocolate filled uh, puff pastry dough. I cannot show you what it looks like, sorry, because my oven is occupied with the whole grain pizza I'm making at the same time. My kitchen is a mess. I made a salad, two dressings, some pizza, and three different kinds of puff pastry dough today. So I'm showing you the maple pecan plates with the cream cheese, apple, and marzipan filling, and the apple cinnamon filled puff pastry rugelach. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a super quick snack that your whole family will love or a last minute lifesaver if people are announcing themselves over. And I hope uh, you will try this at home. Thank you again and see you soon on Veggie Delicious because Veggie Delicious is delicious. Bye.